Hello everybody, you are listening to Alfred Swedish News Updates. Alfred Swedish News Updates is brought to you by the company Alfred and Friends. To find out more about how to invest in any one of the subsidiary companies of Alfred and Friends or to check out our numerous products and services, simply go to alfredandfriends.com. For this update, I would like to talk about Sweden defeating COVID-19 without implementing a lockdown. Sources and references are available on the website alfredandfriends.com. Okay, so it is very interesting that Sweden didn't go into lockdown, but they have succeeded you know in defeating COVID-19 you know their mortality rates you know when it comes to COVID-19 is actually better than a lot of all the other nations that went into lockdown you know and it just goes to say a lot about the necessity of the lockdown you know the lockdown was not necessary at all the knockdown didn't help any issues and when you know even the article that was written you know that is one of the references that i use you know for this story they talk about mortality rates comparing it to that of ireland and saying it's similar but when you talk about mortality rates during this period you are not just talking about covid19 you are talking about every other disease and sickness included so in spite of making it that large you know the numbers are still nowhere near what the numbers of um, other nations that are in lockdown have you know it is very interesting you know this is something that a lot of people have talked about and a lot of people have looked into and have given very um incisive info about this coronavirus issue and when we look at sweden not going into lockdown but yet defeating the virus you know and their borders are open people can go into sweden and people can leave sweden you know they don't even go around with masks in sweden people are allowed to walk around when someone comes around with a mask they look at the person as if that person is an alien and it's normally foreigners you know that being said there are a few um, limitations that they put in place in Sweden like they um, put certain restrictions on visiting um, homes for the elderly because you know there was a time they were talking about how the COVID-19 is dangerous to the elderly and a lot of other things you know people are being told to be conscious about the virus issue but they ensure that life still went on and the economy still went on and then think about what happens post this issue you know the economy of sweden will be strong now when you look at certain numbers since sweden exports you know someone could say that um, well because other nations will be in financial difficulty that sweden is going to not make as much profits but guess what they will be making a profit they will still be making a lot of profits not to mention that they can even make way more if they sell on credit which i believe they should do and if they sell on credit that means they will actually be making double or triple what they would have been making when other nations will be getting deeper and deeper into debt because the more they sell on credit the more those nations that are already in debt by giving their citizens palliatives when money is not being generated you know those nations are going to suffer more so this is also something you have to think about i'm happy that there's a nation where people are smart where people still think because this is an interesting move you know this is a wise move you know president trump has always talked about that the solution cannot be you know the cure cannot be worse than the disease you know so you know you have to be wise you have to be smart a lot of nations have destroyed themselves economically
And who are the people who are going to be bailing out these nations now? You can see this great shift of power. Something this big has not happened before since the days of Rothschild. When, you know, Mr. Rothschild got information ahead of time that Napoleon has lost the war. You know, and then Rothschild started selling shares, acting like if England had lost the war against Napoleon and everybody started panicking and the stock prices went really low. Then Rothschild had his agents buying up all those shares for lower prices. At the end of the day, when the news came out, he owned majority of England. You know, so this kind of thing is planned. There is no way you can ignore the fact that the nations or the people, the individuals, the groups who saw this coming and shifted out their money. Now that, you know, certain pr stock prices are beginning to rise again, but certain companies, when the coronavirus hits, you know, into a week into when it really hits America and it's still, um, you know, when it's still getting serious. Because, you know, when it first hit, a lot of people were still, you know, too busy condemning Trump and trying to impeach Trump. As a matter of fact, it was during that period. And even in that speech that Nancy Pelosi told, President Trump talked about the coronavirus in that same speech. But, you know, people were too busy hating President Trump to see this sort of problem of the coronavirus, you know, but after it really became a big issue, you know, and those who were saying that it was not a problem, like the Nancy Pelosi who was going to Chinatown and saying that it is racist for anybody to complain about it, it is racist for President Trump to issue a travel ban from China and all those kind of things, you know. After all that, and everybody took it seriously, you know, when the market really plunged and, you know, with unemployment rising and rising and rising, which interestingly is what Democrats were hoping for, you know. When that happened, a lot of stock prices, you know, now it's kind of late, but in, in fact, it's not that much late, but it is kind of late, it's still late, you know, but stock prices dropped so much. You know, for a lot of companies that are good companies. And buying up those companies at that price is amazing. Especially the price of real estate. Because of the strain that, are, that is on people. You can now buy premium real estate for a very low amount of money. So people who saw this coming are now going to take advantage of it. So after this period, we are going to see a big shift on who is actually possessing a lot of money. Keep in mind that you cannot look at Forbes and think of Forbes as a serious thing. There are a lot of people who are not in Forbes who have a lot of money. You know, Forbes uses information based on what is publicly available. And even that is limited. You know, Forbes has no way of really knowing what is in the bank accounts and pockets of people all around the world. So stop looking at, ah, Forbes says this person is the first richest man in the world, this person is the second richest man in the world, this person is, all those things mean nothing. You know, that is something that uh, you have to realize. But that being said, I'm glad that um, Sweden has put themselves in this position. Sweden is going to end up on top and end up very wealthy. You know, a lot of nations that we need bailouts, Sweden is now going to be able to buy up assets in all these nations. You know, because Sweden did not put itself in a lockdown. You know, that would hurt it economically. That being said, let us pray. In Jesus' name. Oh Lord, Father, we bless your holy name. We thank you for your love, for your kindness, for all that you are doing for us in our lives. Father, I thank you for Sweden. I thank you, Lord, Father, for all that is happening there. I thank you, Lord, Father, for I pray that the eyes of the world will look at Sweden and their eyes will open. People will begin to have their eyes open to the truth and realize what is really happening in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining me in that prayer. God bless you.